Cavalry's got some really cool color tools that you can use in multiple ways. This little animation here is using the color array with um, random applied to it and a few other little things to create some, just to create a bit of added interest to the uh, animation. Um, this along with gradients and the new multiplier gradient um, allow for a lot of exploration and fun. So I'm just going to quickly touch on some of those and uh, I hope you enjoy. Create an array. What you can do is just click on the little drop down, create array from a palette. And this is just, just brings the array over here and this is where the fun starts. So you can just click on that and drag down. And if we put a little fella here into a duplicator, it's just gonna expand that out for you, just iterating through all those different colors. So we've got auto index and that's why it's gonna iterate through them all. So if I just change this to two, it's gonna go to blue. If I change it to four, black. And anything above three, four, five, six, seven, it's gonna be black. Um, so what we can do here is we can just click on add a behavior, put in a random. And at the moment we've got a hell of a lot more blacks because it goes up to 10. So you can just come in here and just tweak these numbers and uh, see how you go. The, the cool thing about cavalry is that you can just create a simple setup um, and then add like a few little procedural kind of behaviors here and there and it just really kind of amplifies it which is pretty gosh darn awesome um okay so now it's going to create a gradient and to create a gradient you just click on the gradient here and click on here and go set gradient from palette and then it's just created the swift uh swish little palette here but you've got this white at the end so just drag the black across and away you go um and see how we go and then just apply that to there um, these can be animated in all different kinds of ways um, we got the scale offset um, repeat and like with the, the offset you know you can usually just throw like a, a frame in here amp that up to whatever and then you just got a few little random animated things popping through which is kind of cool um, and what I'm going to create is another index, index to color. Um, click on this shape, get rid of that. And then I'm just going to link up my index to color into here. And go back to my index to color, here, which is just there. And again, I'm just going to do the set gradient from palette. And then once uh, I'm actually in the proper Sorry, I duplicated this and I didn't relink it, that's why it didn't come through. Um, and now you've just got a whole lot of... Uh, yeah, so you can just see how it's just iterating through that um, that gradient there. And yeah, again, that's, it's pretty it's pretty simple, but it's, it's pretty cool just to play around with that and, and see how you go. So if we want to change the color, we can just drag it into here and you can just see them funneling through. And that's the same down here as well with the same palette. And if I just click on this and drag it through, but it's not actually making a connection to over here. Um, so if you to make that same palette connection, you just click on that and drag it over. Um, and then we'll just make a few of those. And then basically, if we want to change all the color of these, we just have to come in here and change it from our <coughs> scene and it's going <clears> to <throat> iterate through all those colors so this can also um, be linked to the color array uh, which is pretty handy if, you're, um, um, if you want to um, use your text and break it down you're going to have to use a sub mesh deformer which i which i have here um, I've broken this down into this list. So the level mode here is characters. If I change this to words, you can see that it's breaking them down to words and lines as well. Um, the fill is just coming into here. And for this, it's basically the standard array. And then um, it's got a random coming through, coming through and this random has a seed that ups, updates every 15 frames. Um, so you can see here, I have plugged into the round 
and this is the frames and this is the rounding so, so every 15 frames it just changes over that's also linked to the position and rotation as well um, yeah so it's it's pretty pretty simple there's zero keyframes involved and so if you've got a whole lot of shapes inside a duplicator then you can then just you don't have to apply a, a color to all the um, shapes down here you can just apply it to the side mesh and the duplicator if, if that's how you want it to work I'm just going to play with the add shader the multi point sh gradient shader okay so if you wanted to create a null you just hit control shift equals and then if you do it again this is like a real small nothing but I'll tell you anyway it's just going to create null 2, null 3, blah 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 but if you just do create one and then just go shift uh, just go control D to duplicate it it actually numbers them correctly um, well in a slightly easier way to, uh, to understand um, so we're just going to add two more little colors in here and I'm just going to throw my colors in but this could look horrendous and I don't care and the easiest way of um, so basically you got a position here and I've created these nulls because I want to position them use them to position the colors so the easiest way is just to select them all throw them in here and then we've got null um, and we've got the name so we can just click on position click on this point whoop, it's zero then we'll just close that one and position null two oh sorry null one close it cool and then we have our colors which is super cool it's genuinely um in the past uh created like massive kind of um or just circles in the background with different colors and then just blow the shish out of them but yeah this is this is really intuitive um so you've also got down here some of the influence so you can just see how i'm um, just you're just ramping up it's pretty always what it does